really well. Welcome to my room tour 2016. You guys have been really requesting this video a lot recently um, and I've been really looking forward to doing it as well. I've just got my room to how I like it um, and I'm really, really pleased with it. I'm gonna leave links in the description of things that you can find around my room if they're still available just to help you guys out in case you're interested in any of the things that I have. So yeah, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. I'm very excited to show you my room. So let's just get cracking and let's start. So before you walk into my bedroom, I have my door and it has my Gryffindor crest banner and then underneath that I have a wooden sign which says lucky. Let's go on into my room. So this is my bed slash chill area where I spend quite a lot of my time, I'm not going to lie. Next to my bed is my bedside table which is from Ikea and down here I have my Lumi lights, some marquee lights, flowers and a glowing narwhal. Inside my bedroom table is basically a treasure trove of junk. Old scripts, magazines and other bits and bobs that don't have a home. In the top drawer, I'm not even sure what's in here. Pain medication, old phone cases, receipts, nothing too exciting. Moving on to the lighting on my bed, the copper fairy lights are from New Look and the picture and the letter C light are both from TK Maxx. I like having these lights on at night because it makes it feel really cozy. Next to my bed is my window with my new blinds, which were from Direct Blinds, if you are wondering. And on my bed, I like to keep my MacBook on my laptop tray, which is like one of the best things that I've purchased recently. Next to my laptop, I have some of my cushions from Primark and Tesco, and I have my Angel plushie, which I got from America. Opposite my bed is where my wardrobe is, and on top of that, I have some IKEA storage boxes where I keep my fan mail from you guys. Here is a sneak peek inside of my wardrobe. Here I keep my jumpers, shirts, dresses and hats and below that are my t-shirts, trousers, some more jumpers and my gym wear. The bottom drawer in my wardrobe I just keep miscellaneous things like swimwear, holiday things, scarves, hats and some video props. And my top drawer is where I keep my pyjamas, underwear and a million pairs of socks. Next to my wardrobe is my desk area and above my desk is a giant multi-photo frame. It's mainly positive quotes that I found from Tumblr. Underneath are both of my computer screens, keyboard and mouse. And inside of my desk is actually where I store all of my makeup. It's pretty full and unorganised right now but yes, I do my makeup sitting at my desk. Underneath my desk on the left I have some storage boxes and a basket full of my notepads with some pens and highlighters and on the right I have my computer and my headphones that I use for editing YouTube videos. On my desk I also have my mirror which I always get asked about. It was actually given to me by my grandma so I don't know where you can get it from. I also have a white stag head which I keep my jewellery on and then underneath that I just have a few copper bits and bobs and my watch. On my wall to the right I have my YouTube silver play button award and then on the floor underneath that is my pink bin which is also from Ikea. On the back of my door I have some flower coat hooks which I hang stuff on like my coats and my dressing gown. Next to my door I have a huge white framed mirror so that I can check what I look like before leaving and I really like this mirror, the frame's really pretty. Below my mirror is where I keep my bags that I currently use and also some gym weights which don't get to use that often. <laughs> then all that is left is my giant display bookcase which if you hadn't have guessed was from Ikea so let's have a look what's on it. Firstly I have my three cactuses or cacti, next to that is my cooking and baking books and some Harry Potter badges in a box, my time turner necklace in its display case, half of my Disney Sum Sum collection, I know I have a problem, next is some random little plushies and figurines that I have, and below those are some cute storage boxes and Tom Scar's mind turtle plushie, a fake plant with a lollipop in it that says damn you're fine. My stack of YouTuber books, some of which I still need to read, and a Snow White DVD. A cardboard letter C with a little foam cherry. Some DVDs including Mean Girls and Big Hero 6. The second half of my Sum Sum collection and my grape soda pin. The Holy Grail, aka my Harry Potter books, and a few of the Harry Potter DVDs too. A unicorn money box from New Look. My Twilight books, DVDs and some perfume that I got when I went to Egypt. Some photos of me and my best friend Tori and some other little mementos that I like to keep with a sneaky candle hiding behind there. 
Next is my stack of CDs, which I actually keep in my car, but here are all of the cases. Another money box, a sonic screwdriver, and some random cows. My copper deer ornament from Ikea. Some more of my books. Another unicorn money box ornament. And this is my current reading pile, or books that are new to my bookcase. Under those I have my Doug plushie from Up, Harry Potter wand collection and my limited edition illustrated Harry Potter book. Some more random books and a new empty photo frame. More storage boxes to hide miscellaneous junk. More random books and my Gryffindor plaque that I've not hung up yet. And last but not least, my candles and room sprays. And I guess that we have come to the end of the behind the scenes sneaky peek room tour of where I spend a lot of my time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below and click the thumbs up button. And if you're new here, then hello, welcome. If you wanna subscribe, you can click the subscribe button. I make brand new videos every Thursday and Sunday. So that's something to look forward to, I hope. And with that in mind, I guess I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.